disclaimer. Be advised that I'm not a professional trader or advisor. I am sharing my trading journey for entertainment purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, price, or other information contained in this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset, or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Trading foreign exchange, cryptocurrency indexes, stock market, futures, commodity, energy, precious metal, etc. carry a high level of risk and please trade on your own research and assessment. Please seek advice from a professional financial advisor for your trading needs. Hello my friends, welcome to Trading KS. So today is uh, Saturday 10th of April, so uh, this session will be for trading on the 12th okay, to uh, 16th next week so uh okay let's talk about the forest calendar first see what's happening next next week so monday okay monday monday evening uh be careful uh, on the uh, uh Fed, federal chair power fix and uh boc outlook business outlook for cat tuesday okay we have a uh, u.s 10-year uh, bond yield New Zealand business confidence, Australia business confidence in the morning. So uh, China trade balance and uh, evening will be uh, CPI. Okay. Consumer price index. Okay, improve on consumer price index will be good for the uh, dollar. Okay, and, uh, US. Okay, uh, mainly China. Okay. Improvement in China will be good for New Zealand and uh, uh, New Zealand and Australia. And on Wednesday, we got a US 30-year bond option. We got a uh, New Zealand uh, RB, New Zealand uh, cash rate. Uh, okay, this one be careful on Wednesday. Okay, estimated no changes. If any changes, there could be a okay a, a volatility volatility in the uh, US uh, New Zealand dollar. Okay, could be a change of direction whatever. So uh. In the evening, okay, we got a uh, ECB president Lagarde, okay, talks and uh, crude oil inventory, uh, okay, the lower the better for the uh, Canadian dollar, okay. So this one uh, for Euro Wednesday, be careful, okay. Wednesday, be careful on the New Zealand dollar and the Euro, okay. Thursday, we got a uh, federal chair power streaks again. And uh, also, employment change and employment rate for Australia and USD core retail sales, retail sales, manufacturing index, employment claim, and uh, uh, then uh, another one is uh, Swiss franc board member speaks. Okay, so uh, Thursday, okay, be careful on the USD. Watch out for the cash rate on the AD, okay, and uh, also the all the uh, indexes, okay, for the. USD okay for Thursday watch out for USD so okay they expect improvement uh, okay improvement uh, on Australia dollar and also okay on Australia and also on USD uh, so they have, they expect improvement in retail sales in the manufacturing manufacturing index they, they expect to expect a drop unemployment can claim improvement so okay if all these come out good numbers okay will be good for US dollar so uh, Friday with China GDP, uh, China GDP, they expect improvement from 6.5 to 18.3 quarterly and yearly. So this one, uh, improvement on the quarterly, right, will be a very good, uh, good uh, boost for the Australia dollar and the New Zealand dollar. Okay. So uh, also in the evening Friday will be a consumer sentiment for the uh, USD. So USD, they approve a lot of improvement uh, this week. Okay, so to check out the numbers. If the numbers get worse, okay, then they could be a weakness in the USD. Okay, let's go into the chart. So Euro, Euro USD. Okay, Euro USD now. Okay, uh, lower low. Uh, okay, uh, the price is making lower low. Okay, so uh, rejected over here. So now this will be the support. Can I 
Okay, so uh, rebreak through the support. Okay, S11.1833. So now we want to look for a okay rebound uh, at the R resistance one, uh, one point one nine eight five. Okay, if it breaks above, okay, resistance one, then there's a probability of might be opportunity to buy towards resistance two one point two one seven eight. Okay, so watch out this level. Okay, this very important level. Uh, watch out this level. Okay, uh, resistance one, one point one nine eight five. Okay. Rejection, you look for sell towards 1.1833 support one and a support to 1.1711. Pound uh, USD, pound USD haven't really make a very, uh, haven't really make a downtrend yet. Okay, so it's still consider in a, okay, still consider in a uptrend. Okay, it's in the middle of a, it's a transition in the middle of an uptrend and downtrend. So this is, this, this should be a very important support resistance line. Okay, this one. Okay, S one one point three six six eight. Okay, a rejection over here. We will look for a buy towards R one one point three nine zero seven and R two one point four one resistance two. One point four zero two four. Okay, if a break below, okay, a break and close below, a clean close below, uh, support one one point three six six eight. We we'll look for a sell opportunity towards support two one point three six. One point three seven three four seven two. Sorry. Okay, we we'll look for this target. So this is a very important okay support resistance line here. You see JPY, so you see JPY is no doubt okay in a strong uptrend. So you look for retracement. Okay, the first level is a uh, one zero nine support one uh, 109 seven two nine to one zero nine point point three four. Okay, we we'll look for a. Uh, Rebound at this area, okay, for a buy opportunity. Or, okay, if it continue to come down, we will wait for a rebound, okay, at the support 2108.40 for a buy opportunity. Australia dollar, Australia dollar and USD is, is also in the Transition, okay, so this is very important, this support resistance area, okay, this uh, now is consolidating uh, again, consolidating again in this uh, area, okay, so a break above R1, uh, resistance 1, 0 0.7680, we look for a buy opportunity towards R2, resistance 2, 0 0.7818, uh. okay, if a break below, okay, this uh, consolidation, 0 0.7599, we look for a sell, okay, towards Support one zero point seven five three one, and or support two zero point seven six seven four six one. New Zealand dollar, New Zealand dollar USD. Okay, this one already obvious. Okay, make already already clear. Okay, already clear break of a support resistance line. Okay. Lower making lower lower low okay and should be lower high over here so now right okay this one support unable to break support uh, support okay support support so support support now come back here support unable to break now this time a little break okay break candle a little break now coming back to retest okay so it might not exactly hit this area or could be near here so we want to see okay. We want to see what happened to this okay consolidation okay a break above okay we want to see we want to create a rebound of a uh, resist uh, res, uh, resistance one zero point seven one zero five a rejection for a sell opportunity if a break above okay we will look for a could be a buy opportunity towards res, resistance to zero point seven two three three if the price break below Okay, 
resistance 1, 0 0.7000. So we look for a sell opportunity towards uh, support 1. Sorry, this is not resistance 1. Uh. This is support 1. Okay, so we look for a sell opportunity towards uh, 0 point support 2. Another mistake. I try to make the wording all bigger uh, so hopefully you guys can see with a mobile phone. If you can't see, let me know. Okay, drop, uh, drop me a comment over there. If you can't see properly, okay, or okay, or the next support area, okay, S3 0.6791. Okay, if we can break S2. 0 0.6938, we look for 0 0.6791. USD CAT. Okay, USD CAT in a. Still in the consolidation, uh, okay. We talk about the consolidation over here, okay. So, opportunity to sell, so the price come back, okay, to swim back inside the consolidation box, okay. So, okay, if the price break below, 1.2520, we look for a sell towards support 1, 1.2360, okay? If the price goes above, okay, we look for a rebound, okay, at a R2, okay, 1.2761, okay? If the price go over, then they, then we help you, they, then we have to change our direction to sell to buy. Go Okay, go now is a support, uh, uh, sorry, a resistance. Okay, so we want to look for a sell opportunity. Okay, at a resistance one, 1760. Okay, towards support one, 1.68, 6, uh, 6160, 1680. Okay, if it, if it breaks above here, okay, so we want to wait for a sell opportunity to, uh, sell opportunity to, so opportunity at uh, R2 1.8 1850 which is okay around the uh, this one the channel top okay channel top okay as long as inside this channel we will sell the we will sell the channel top okay probably buy the channel bottom okay, so this one is the middle okay we look for a rejection over here or a rejection over here okay to sell for aggressive trader maybe aggressive trader maybe a break of r1 one 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 seven six zero okay there is opportunity to buy towards uh, r21815 okay because this is a double bottom okay a break of the double bottom uh neckline there is opportunity to sell okay towards this area uh, to buy okay to buy up to this area okay okay so that's it for today okay uh, I will cover the the cryptocurrency a bit uh, less okay uh, because the, the the movement are mainly quite the same okay as uh, uh, not not much different uh, since the last few weeks actually it, it, it even up uh, crypto already go up okay but uh, uh, that one I'll cover it once a month, okay. Where else this uh, 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 forex I'll cover it every week and every middle of the week, uh. Okay, these two midweek I miss out, okay, because uh, a bit busy. So uh, hopefully for next week, okay, I can put an, uh, some uh, additional video, okay, for the for this uh, forex member, okay. Please like and share the video. Remember to like and share the video and share it with your friend, okay. We want to build a bigger community. We want to create gain more traction. So for forex trader, uh, okay, not forex is a uh, a bit di different from stock market. Okay, sentiment wise and news wise doesn't actually tell the direction. Okay, the direction mostly is from the what we what we get is from the price action. 
Okay, price action most likely will tell, but it's most likely so not every trade is profitable. So a lot of people say go in, I want to score big, you know, put all the money in single trade. It, it doesn't work that way. Okay, it's all long term. How many how many losses and how many win that you make in the long term? Okay, balance up with the risk and reward. Okay, that we put in. We, we always win more than we lose, okay? The, the, the amount that we win and the uh, ratio that we lost, we almost always get more. So in this way, even we lose 50% of our trade, right? We only win 50%, we still win money, okay? This is a risk and reward, okay? Don't expect to go in, you know, like buying Tesla stock, okay? Just buy and think that you, uh, and hope, okay? And, uh, and wait for it to just uh, go up, okay? Stop, uh, Trading in a forex is totally different. Okay, trading forex is just a probability. I go in for ten trade. Okay, if if I lost five trade, I win five trade. Okay, but my winning ratio is always higher than losing ratio, so I always win. Okay, even though if I if I if I lost sixty percent, okay, and I win forty percent, I still doesn't lose money. This is how we get to earn money from the forex trading. Okay, it not it's not a buy big and small okay every trade we make money it's not that way okay if if you go into the forex market thinking this the way i want to win every trade i want to score big every time okay those are the, the those will be the guys that get wiped out you know in one to two months a lot you can see a lot of people wipe out one in two months three months okay half a year so those are the people that get wiped out scale your lot size okay scale your lot size make sure don't uh, uh, don't spend more than three percent of your initially investment of your capital, okay, in trading because, okay, in the beginning we have to protect the capital first, okay. Once you're very advanced, then maybe you can scale it bigger, okay. But then when you have a proven record that you can actually score fifty percent and above, okay, then you can go risk for more, okay. But if you cannot hit fifty percent, stay at the three percent or below risk reward, okay, uh, risk on on your capital, okay. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.